All right, folks, it's been a really long time since I've uh, done a uh, video on the Luther, and I guess this will be part three or four. It's been a long time. As you can see, there's the Luther. And as you can see, we have a neck on it now. Unfortunately, uh, we have a bad neck angle, and a lot of it has to do with this board right here and we had a shim down there and um i'll show you the wood i used this woody we used for the shim and um unfortunately because of this wood we used on the fingerboard it's too thick and um, our neck was basically overset so i Decided to remove the fingerboard and uh, put put a better shim in there, a thinner shim. And um, I have this veneer here, and um, I have a piece cut out already and matched. And we're going to glue that on the end of this. And um, the neck angle looked a lot better when we had that shim opposed to the thicker shim the neck itself is tight it's got uh three dowels holding it in which is kind of cool i kind of like seeing that where you can see the inside of the neck it's a butt joint they call it three dowels i uh, used hot high glue um but i, I gotta re-glue the uh the fingerboard and the nut back on and um while i got it apart i decided to just take the whole board off redo it i'm going to Add some of that veneer or some wood down here into there to make the neck a little bit stronger. I mean, that neck right now on the guitar is pretty strong, but anything that will make it even stronger and last a little longer. So I'm going to add some wood down there, some thin pieces of veneer, and I'm going to add some liquid high glue a good amount down there. And what that's going to do is it's going to strengthen the uh, the neck joint that's held in with the dowels. I mean, that neck right now is very tight, but if we can get it even tighter, that would be great. Um, we do have a truss rod that I installed, as you can see. It's a steel rod I epoxied in with JB Weld going down. It's kind of like an old Martin style uh, truss rod, kind of like that, and a harmony rod just going down. So, you know, you want to have something in there. So um, it does have that piece of steel in there. I may add a little more JB Weld or something in there to get it even tight because when you have the non-adjustable rods, you want them to be tight. You want them really tight, and you want a really tight rod in there. You don't want a sloppy, loose rod that's all over. You want a tight rod. Um, a little bit of the wood got damaged when we removed it, so I added some wood filler, um, and we're going to let that dry, and we're going to sand it. And uh, this was a little bit damaged when it came off. We fixed that with wood filler. So we're going to let this dry for 24 hours. Uh, we're going to use liquid hide glue. That way I have more time. I prefer the hot hide glue, but the liquid hide glue is a little easier, is a lot easier to use. And we're, we're only doing the fingerboard anyway, the shim, and, and adding a little bit down here. So I don't see a problem with that. So we're going to. We ordered the liquid high glue, and we're going to basically be gluing this board back on. Uh, we're going to put some shims down there and make it a little stronger, add some high glue. And then we're going to add some glue to this also to fix the neck angle a little bit. And um, it looks good. Um, what I found out is you can tint varnish, and I tinted the varnish with stain, the water-based stain and varnishing mahogany and it looks really good and um we're gonna have to touch it up too before we even put the machine heads on i did order machine heads for it but um there's an area um, um i don't know if you can see it in the camera but yeah you can see it there it's chipped so basically what we got to do is add a little some shims here shims to the board re-glue the board glue the nut on Get some decent machine heads on it, touch it up, put a set of strings on, check the angle for one, one more time for the hell of it, and if all goes well, the Luther will be making music. 
So there's a quick update on the uh, Luther.